Chapter 25 They wanted to make sure there wasn't there weren't some kind of explosives device or something, Sheila said. That's what everybody's saying. It's the skulls, T'Challa whispered. Who else could it be? I mean, we saw those things at their ceremony, remember? There was a moment of silence. But what do they do? Zeke demanded. What are they used for? Calling spirits, T'Challa said. Whose spirits? Sheila asked. Those traps are around the school for a reason, T'Challa said. Whoever or whatever they're trying to summon probably has some connection to our school. Good point. Sheila said. So, T'Challa said, what is it about this school? What could they want that's connected to Southside Middle? A minute or two passed while the trio walked, while the trio sat thinking. Zeke bit his lip. Sheila squinted, like if she didn't, like if, like if she did it hard enough, she'd get an answer. A teacher? Suggested Zeke. A student, Sheila countered, as, and her expression lit up. Yeah, maybe it's a student. Someone who went here a long time ago. Right, T'Challa agreed. Someone that people back then would have looked up to. A very smart boy or girl. A leader. Gemini's obsessed with respect and he's proving it and he proving him he's important. We can look in old yearbooks, Sheila suggested. But what year? It could be anyone from any decade. Silence fell. Wait a minute, Zeke th- started. Maybe I can ask my grandma. She's went to she went to school here a long time ago, like way back in the nineteen fifties. She might know something. T'Challa slowly turned to Zeke. Your grandmother went to school here? Yeah, Zeke said. T'Challa looked at Zeke, then to Sheila. So where do you live, Zeke? Saturday morning dawned bright and warmer than usual. T'Challa felt the sun on his face, and for a moment he had a fleeting memory of Wakanda's heat and sunshine. He found Zeke's grandmother grandmother's house easily. This the same neighborhood where they all had pizza just a few nights before. Rows of neat houses lined the streets, each with a separate lawn and a flower box on the porch railings, even this late in the year. He stood on the doorstep and rang the bell. Zeke answered, Hey, come on in, T T T'Challa walked in and looked around. Zeke's grandmother, ha, grandmother's house was warm and inviting, certainly different from Gemini's. The whole place was bright, with a big bay window in, front of, in the front of the room that let in generous amounts of light. Paintings hung on the walls, and vases full of flowers were placed on, placed on the dining room table. Sheila sat on the couch fiddling with her cell phone. Hey, T, she called without looking up. Hey, he replied. Zeke, where's your grandmother? Before Zeke had a chance to answer, a woman came in with a tray of cookies and other treats. She didn't look old enough to T'Challa to be a grandmother. Her hair was gray and pulled back into a bun, but her face didn't seem to have any a wrinkle. Black don't crack, he remembered one of the kids at school saying. So you must be the infamous Mr. T. Charles, she said, setting down the tray. It's nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. Dawson. It's nice to, nice to meet you too, T'Challa replied. Ezekiel was talks to about you all the time, Mrs. Dawson said. He said you are smart and I like smart people. Her face lit up in a smile and T'Challa couldn't help but do the same. Zeke gave a sheepish grin, embarrassed. So, she said, then sat down in a chair with her pattern of flowers. Ezekiel said you're working on a project on the school? Some kind of history assignment? Uh, yeah, Sheila replied. What do you remember from those days, Mrs. Dawson, when you went to school at Southside Middle? Mrs. Dawson leaned back in her chair. Well, back then, we didn't call it that. It was Southside Academy for colored children. Wow, said Zeke. That's politically incorrect. Well, Zeke's grandmother replied, you know, things were, were, were different back then. Don't you remember my stories, baby? Colored it was the nicest thing we were called. T'Challa listened with a patient ear. He knew this the, the history of black people in the United States. He couldn't believe how they were treated during the country the country's founding. It was humanity and its worst at its worst, his father had told him.
Anyway, Mrs. Dawson went on, we had dances and social and socials, just like you kids today. We were all happy, even with all the trouble and strife around us. Mrs. Dawson closed her eyes for a moment, as if remembering her childhood. All of that changed with the fire, of course. Fire, T'Challa said, leaning in. Mrs. Dawson shook her head. Doesn't that school tell y'all anything about its history? Somebody needs to write a book. T'Challa nodded. Zeke reached for a cookie and stuffed it in his mouth. So what happened? Sheila asked. The fire? Mrs. Dawson took a sip of water and then placed it, and then placed the glass back on the table. Well, they sa said it started in the basement. It was a tragedy. Everybody made it out alive, but one poor child, she said, her head in dismay. Who? Zeke asked. I'll never forget, Mrs. Dawson said, and then smiled sadly. He was the prettiest boy I'd ever laid eyes on. Zeke groaned. Well, he was, honey. This was before I met your granddaddy. Everybody knew him. Everybody respected him. Zeke shot a look at T'Challa. Mrs. Dawson tilted her head. Had a curious name, that child. Vincent Du Bois. Said his family was all black ar ar aristocrats. She chuckled. Can you believe it? This boy was something else. Smart, funny, but some girls said he was dangerous. Dangerous? Sheila asked. Well, I never had a reason to think that. He was always, he was always nice to me. Just as polite as all get out. He used to do the strangest magic tricks. T'Challa almost stopped breathing. He used to scare little kids sometimes, he used to say. And I always remembered it. I am the Prince of Bones, and you don't forget it. T'Challa's mouth went dry. He licked his lips. Prince of Bones, he said. Do you know what that means? Mrs. Dawson narrowed her eyes. What are you children up to? I thought this was about school. Zeke swallowed. It is, Grandma. We're trying to figure out what it was like back then. Mrs. Dawson looked at her grandson with a skeptical eye. Well, y'all don't go me messing with stuff that's best left, al left alone. Now T'Challa was really curious. Why would she say that? Sheila put on her best face, all bright eyes and charm. We won't, Mrs. Dawson. So, about the Prince of Bones. Mrs. Dawson shook her head as if growing tired of the questions. This is the last thing I'll say about it. She took another sip of water and then set down her glass. Well, some folks whispered that Vincent Du Bois had a gang, you see.